And thanks for joining us on TVC Breakfast, uh, the Monday edition. I am Veronica Dan Ikboy. I'm not here alone. I have uh, Mike Okwache as usual. Mike, good morning. It's well, another week. Another week, another Monday. Yeah. We're still in the uh, Isala Eid, Eid celebration. Edition, so yes. it's amazing. It's yes. fine. It's fine. Yes, and uh, those who are at home are having fun. No, because, having fun. Uh, today is a public holiday, yeah, exactly. except for some of us who have who are on essential duty mm -hmm. who have to be at work on a day like this. Yeah. Uh, some good news for government workers, if I may use the word, 40% increment to the salary to cushion the effect of uh, the withdrawal of subsidies uh, come June. And that has been getting some reaction. Uh, there are questions as to how about those in the private sector? How about those who are retired? How about the other persons who are here and there? How is the government, is the government looking at bringing them in to benefit from uh, whatever it is planning, such that they will also benefit from the largesse mm. that government is trying to give to mm. government workers now, talking about the 40%. What happens mm. to them? We are also members of the society that will fit the pinch mm. of the withdrawal of subsidies. Well, it's a, it's a good thing for, for those who are going to benefit from the increment. Anytime they talk about increment in salary, of course, everybody, those who are going to be you know, affected, will be happy about it. Now, bear it in mind that those who are going to benefit from this increment are just about 144,000 people. Mm. The core civil servants who are not on consolidated scheme, as the case may be. Everybody who are all lecturers under the federal universities and, and the federal polytechnic or federal establishments will not benefit from this because mm. their salary scale and scheme is different. Mm -hmm. Medical doctors who are under federal ministries and federal institutions and all of that will not benefit from this because they have a different uh, scheme and a skill. Mm -hmm. Nurses will also not benefit from this because they have a different scheme and a different salary skill. So we're just talking about 144,000 civil core civil servants mm -hmm. who are not who are on direct payroll of, of, the, gov federal of the federal government. So it's just like a drop. A drop in the ocean. Exactly. Because if you're saying, okay, we're giving 40% uh, increment. Incre increment to 144,000 people, uh, the, the impact is not, uh, no, but, no, not there. But however, the government has the right to say, okay, workers under my, my uh, employment, uh, let me increase you, your salary because... Uh, isn't that discriminatory? No, no, no. It's not discriminatory. The, the point there is that the... the like in, in the industry, in the media industry, for instance, there are media stations, there is a, there's a scale of salaries within the media industry. Some media stations pay more than whatever the, the prevailing scale is. Others pay, look, depending on whatever. But Your capacity. How, yeah, now, but that however, is that's private the private sector. sector. Exactly, that's yeah. the private sector. But within the, the uh, public sector, the government has the right to increase salaries of its workers at any point. Just like the states also have, have the right to increase their salaries based on how much revenues that they have gotten. Mm -hmm. So the only question that Nigerians are asking is that, okay, federal government, you are like the god. You are the god of Nigeria. What are you doing for everybody? Because ah. the point there is the inflation is it's not going selective. To everyone. Exactly. The inflation is not saying, oh, civil servants, let me deal with you and leave <laughs> private sector. Than, yes. Exactly. It, it, is affect, it affects everybody. Everyone. So perhaps that's where the $800 million comes in. The $800 million, Nigerians are still not comfortable because the issue there is it, it, will, not, it will not go anywhere when it comes to the actual cushioning of that effect mm. of the removal of subsidy. $800 million, how long? Are you going to be able you know, to... some persons have broken it down. They broke it down. They said, they said it's 2,000. Yes, naira. exactly. One off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The point is, if you break it down to the over 50, 50 million families and all of that, and you do the mathematics, it's, it's just roughly around uh, 2,000, less than 3,000 naira. Mm -hmm. So how, what will that do for anybody right now? If, mm -hmm. you, go, if you go right now to uh, the market with 3,000 naira, what are you going to buy? <laughs> so if you eat tomatoes today, you will not eat tomorrow. tomorrow. So these are the things. That is why we often say that this issue of distributing monies, mm. come and take, come and take, is always not the best thing. Mm. We have always seen. In fact, since the last, since, since the last few years, 
We have seen where government, the Ministry of the Federal Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, have distributed monies, you know, conditional cash transfers and yeah. all of that. Has poverty reduced? Not at because all. Because that doesn't empower anybody. Mm. So, and it, it is also a, a lot of persons have said it's a conduit for corruption in, mm. in, in the case because sometimes this kind of money is when they come. There are the issue of those who are consultants who get monies from it. Mm. There, are, there are administrative charges, you know, for this and for that. There are contracts here and there. So the point there is, let government do everything to yeah, ensure to that inflation, inflation rates come yeah. down. Then the monies that anybody makes will now make sense. Right. Uh, and that these monies that are being withdrawn, talking about the funds, uh, the subsidy funds, mm. are channeled appropriately mm -hmm. so that Nigerians can also benefit Openness. from at Openness. the end of the day transparency. Mm. Right. Mm.